Hello everyone, Ian here again. And uh, today I've got a new drone to open up. Uh, it's not a DJI model either. This is the Zerotech Dobby, which is one of the smallest and cheapest GPS enabled 4K drones uh, on the market. So um, if you're actually trying to get into uh, playing around with drones and you're on a bit of a budget, uh, I'm gonna put this through its paces, see what the range is, see how long the battery life is, see what the picture quality is, and uh, see whether or not it's a good buy. So this should be just the drone. It doesn't come with the remote. It uses Wi-Fi from your phone. So it should have a range of about 150 feet, 50 meters. Okay, very small, very light. Okay, that's a little instruction manual. Have a tiny little battery. battery charger with a USB-C input charger <laughs> okay uh, if you're used to the Mavic Pro or even the Mavic Air this is um, a lot smaller in fact here is my LG V30 and it is smaller than that so um, that is a pretty small drone Let's have a look. The uh, legs fold out very nice and easily. You have uh, a simple little battery. I actually bought a spare battery with this one because uh, I believe you only get about a 10 minute uh, flight time with it. So the idea is that it just slots straight in. Nice and firm. As I said, you've got your little battery charger there as well. It's got a downward, looks like an ultrasonic sensor um, it's also got a downward camera yep hello one of the big uh, differences with this drone unfortunately though it's got as i said a 4k camera but you have to move the camera in advance let's just take off the little uh, so unfortunately yeah you have to choose what angle you're going to have your uh, camera at uh, before you even uh, start flying so that's um, all there is to the actual drone itself. As you can see, a very, very small, lightweight little drone. So you can see the uh, battery indicator there. It's just like the uh, DJI uh, indicators. Um, you press it, you've got four LEDs. You can see that the battery is not very uh, well charged at the moment. Uh, the sun has just set. So I think what I'll do is uh, charge up uh, both the batteries I've got. Tomorrow morning, I'll head out and uh, put it through its paces, see how far I can fly, how, fly, how high, how far and what the uh, video and picture quality is like. Okay, battery's fully charged, uh, sun is shining, so uh, let's start playing with it. Uh, like I said, the, um, the Dobby doesn't come with its own remote control, it uses your smartphone as a remote control. It uses a Wi-Fi connection, not Bluetooth. So you should be expecting to get around uh, a, a good 50 meters, 150 feet uh, range with this. So we'll, uh, we'll see how we get on. Um, what you have to do first of all is download the Do Fun app. It's available both on Android and for Apple as well. I think that's simply uh, their way of saying you're gonna have fun. So you open up the app, and at the same time you need to turn on the drone itself. You just uh, long press for a couple of seconds. The moment you hear that, you know that the drone is actually transmitting its own little Wi-Fi network. So you need to go into your own network settings and look for the uh, Dobby. So once it's hooked up and you press start, you get a live FPV view straight away from the drone. Faithful Ted as ever, Molly. So as I said, once you've uh, opened up the app and you're connected to the drone's little Wi-Fi field, um, then the first thing it will probably do is ask you to update the firmware. This can be a bit of a pain because um, in order to download the update, you need to have access to the internet. Uh, but if your phone is hooked up to the uh, drone's Wi-Fi field, obviously you're not going to get the internet through that. So you need to make sure you've got good 3G or 4G signal at the same time that you try and do this update. One other problem that can crop up with this is that if your phone's Wi-Fi is hooked onto the Dobby's Wi-Fi field, then um, if your phone can also see your home network, 
it can keep on trying to jump back to your home network. And the moment it flips back to your home Wi-Fi network, it will no longer be in control of the drone and you'll actually lose connection. So a good idea is to fly it down the park or uh, way down the bottom of the garden where your phone can't pick up your normal home Wi-Fi. Uh, the other option you've got, of course, is to temporarily forget your home network and that way it will stay locked onto the uh, Dobby's uh, Wi-Fi network. So, done the update, should be ready to fly now. Uh, like I said, the uh, single biggest disadvantage of this particular uh, little drone is the uh, need to work out exactly what angle you're gonna have your camera at. I'm gonna kinda go halfway house here and go for a 45 degree angle. Hopefully that'll give us uh, roughly uh, what we wanna see. I have to say the actual um, Do Fun app is um, pretty well thought out. I'm quite impressed with uh, what I see, to be honest. Um, you've got the up, down, left, right, your controls and the like uh, as imitating a little joystick, if you like. You can tap the little four square button and that'll bring up a number of pre-configured little uh, flight modes that, uh, that you probably find quite useful. So before you take off, one of the things it asks you to do is to set, uh, is to tell it what camera angle you've got it set at to help with its image stabilization. So I have done this at uh, 45 degrees, so I shall tip that and take off. There we go. Okay. Pretty rock solid signal. Uh, I have to say I'm quite impressed with that. I know it's got GPS, it's also got downward sensors as well. Okay, one thing that has caught me out straight away is that they do call this a selfie drone. And by that, it means the camera. <laughs> okay, that's quite interesting. It was following, following Ted there. Ted walks along and it, follow, it tracks him. It's obviously making use of the uh, downward vision sensing. But I was saying, one thing that uh, can catch you out, uh, this is classified as a selfie drone which means when the drone is facing away from you, the camera is pointing towards you. Um, that's kind of completely the other way round from most, uh, well, from all the DJI drones that I've flown before and the uh, Parrot Mambo. What that means is that if you're facing forward with the camera pointing forward and you press go forward, it goes backwards. So one little thing to get used to. What's it all about, Ted? Very, very stable. Let's see if it follows Ted again. Ted, come here, pup. Come here. Oh, look at that, you see? <laughs> right, so fantastic little first flight there. Very responsive, uh, pretty impressed with that. Uh, did catch me out how quickly uh, the battery ran out. So this time I'm gonna keep an eye on the time. Okay, so I've started the stopwatch. Let's see how we uh, get on this time and see how long we get to fly. Take off. Camera angle is at 45 degrees, and off we go. Still got to get used to the fact that backwards is forwards. Hello Molly, you enjoying that stick? Right, let's see how um, high we can go when we're not on a poor battery. Okay, that's not bad at all. 46, 47, 48 meters. So we're, over, we're getting on for 150 feet now, so that's uh, pretty impressive. Now finally, let's uh, see about our uh, distance. I've said I'm pretty impressed with the layout of the app. It's got all the information you need, Wi-Fi strength, the lateral distance, the altitude, your battery, 17 satellites currently locked. And I'm already a hundred, no, not quite, 80, 90. Okay, so that is impressive. A uh, hundred meters distance and I'm 50 meters high. 130 meters. Hundred and fifth, 45 meters disconnect. Right, let's have a look what happens now. Here we go. So I'm on 100. So it's already returning home. So that's uh, very impressive as well. I got up to 145 meters there. And the moment it disconnected, it automatically starts coming back to the home point. It's not wasting time at all. I can see it there. Well, let's try out some of these little, uh, my recording. Yeah, let's try the tracking. If you drag. 
start. See how it does. Okay. Well, that's pretty good, I have to say. Pretty much as good as my Mavic Air, so uh, quite impressed with that. What if I run? Ah, you see, it's lost. Maybe not quite as good as the Mavic Air. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, and he's lost. He's so I'm on 6% battery now. So let's let's land it. You get the option of palm or ground landing. Okay. Have to say, um, very impressed actually. Um, you know, we've got to remember what this is. It's one of the cheapest 4K GPS enabled drones on the market. Um, it's not going to have all the DJI functionality. Um, it's got active track that actually works pretty well. It can take very decent uh, pictures and video. It's a 4K camera. Um, two big disadvantages are going to be the uh, fixed angling of the camera itself. You've got to decide in advance whether or not you're going to be forward or uh, facing right down to have a uh, straight down selfie. Um, the other big disadvantage is the uh, battery time. I got nine minutes on that flight and I landed on 6%. So um, admittedly I did go up quite high, but you're only gonna be able to get around eight to nine minutes before you have to come down. So if you're gonna buy this, you're certainly gonna need a spare battery as well. But for anyone that actually wants to get into droning and uh, not spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars or pounds, then I'd actually uh, thoroughly recommend this. It's a fantastic little drone. It has all the controllability and the functions that you want. And um, you can go up to, as I said, 50 meters high. And uh, we got out to 145 meters distance. That's uh, going to be 150 yards. So what's that? Uh, 450 uh, feet. So not bad for Wi-Fi off your phone. I have to say, as I said, um, I paid for this. It wasn't sent to me for review, so this is exactly how I see it. But um, a really good little bit of kit. Um, I'll put the link to this uh, down below. As ever, if you like these uh, videos, hit the subscribe button and I'll catch up with you very soon. Until next time, have fun, happy flying.